Hey guys! Today I wanted to show you fun and creative things you can do when you feel bored. All these things are fun and easy and will help you with being creative even when you feel bored. The first idea is doodling. I know this is a really obvious idea and probably a lot of you guys have been already doing that, but sometimes we still have no idea what to doodle. So even doodling can become a difficult task. So what I did was I just scribbled random lines without any idea. Just random lines here and there made them overlap and cross each other. And then just started somewhere. I think we always struggle with what we should paint, draw and where to start. Even with something simple as doodling where there are no rules at all. And of course, even if you find ideas and inspiration online, the result always looks so beautiful, creative and just awesome that we might even end up being discouraged by that and just don't feel like doodling at all because it just doesn't look as great as all these pictures online. That's why I really wanted to encourage you guys to just take a plain white piece of paper and just start drawing random lines and then just fill them in with random lines, dots, circles, squares, everything that comes into your mind. Let your mind and your hand move freely without being stressed. This is a great opportunity to practice doing art just for the process, not for the finished product but just for your creative soul. I did think from time to time that this is going to look horrible but that was the whole point of doing it, just to practice and enjoying the process. Just move your pen over the paper and see what you can create. You don't really waste your art supplies because all you need is a pen and a piece of paper. If a big sheet of paper is intimidating to you, you can also use a smaller piece of paper so you don't feel too overwhelmed with filling the whole page. You can also change up the thickness of your pen and it's great for filling in the lines you created but also for creating a contrast. Don't worry too much, just have fun and enjoy the process. Another fun thing you could do is lettering or creating quote art. Remember when I asked you guys on Snapchat to send me in your names so I can practice lettering? I actually still have your names. For this type of art I'm using an aqua brush but this is not that necessary. It's just great for keeping the brush wet enough to just keep writing. But you can also just use a normal brush as well. I'm not an expert in lettering so what I did is I went onto a site with different fonts and selected one type that I really liked. You can type in any word you want and it will show you the words in the font you have chosen. For my art, I chose the quote, creativity is intelligence, having fun, but you can write anything you like, of course. What I've learned by practicing and looking at different lettering art that use similar fonts is that it's super important that when you write any letter that the left side of the letter is thick, but the right side needs to be thin. Because when I first started practicing, the thickness of every line of the letter was the same. But it's really important to see the difference between thick and thin lines. And of course it depends on the font you're using, but this is the case with the font I'm using here. If you're new to this type of art, I would encourage you to try it out as well because it's super fun and addicting. And you can create such beautiful quote art just by using a brush, some water, paint and paper. Just get inspired by different artists and examples online and just practice while having fun. Another fun idea to create art is using plastic bags and some acrylic paint. Basically, all you need to do is cover a cutting board or something else in a similar size with a plastic bag. And then add some paint on top. You can use any color you want. Now place a piece of paper on top and press it down. You can also use a rolling pin to distribute the paint. But be sure not to use too much paint or it is going to be super messy. Now when you peel off the paper, you get an abstract pattern on your paper. I would recommend using thick paper because thin paper can actually rip or the top part can get stuck on the surface and rip off as well. Experiment with different color combinations and amounts of paint to see what you can achieve. It's super fun and addicting as well. And after drying you can frame it like that or use this paper for any other project where you might need paper with a unique pattern. The last idea I wanted to share with you guys is dotting art. I came across this art on Instagram and it looked so fascinating. So if you want to get more inspiration from all these artists, I have all the links in my description box so go check them out. Here I just painted over an old canvas by using black acrylic paint. You can use any size you like. I just found that dotting art looks great on a squared canvas. Distribute the paint evenly and then let it dry. Next, take a compass and begin drawing circles starting from the center of the canvas. Make the space between the lines in different sizes to get more variety. These lines are going to be the guidelines for our painting. Once you're done with that, mix some acrylic paint with a little bit of water to make it a little bit more liquid. And then you can go ahead and start adding dots following the guidelines you just created. 
I started at the center and added a few rather thick dots and left a little bit of space in between each dot. I didn't have any specific design in mind, I just started with one circle and added the first row of dots. Compared to the artists I found on Instagram, my dots are rather messy and not as perfect, but we are doing this just for fun. And we can always practice it to get better and better with it as well. Try out brushes in different sizes, different colors to create interesting color combinations and just play around with this technique. It's really relaxing because you basically just add dots one after another. And when you're bored, it's a really fun thing to do since you kind of have to concentrate and focus, but at the same time you create something pretty without doing anything super difficult. It's kind of like doodling and using coloring books when you're bored. It's just great to use the time for yourself and for relaxing. If you want, you can add smaller dots somewhere in between the created design or just keep pulling the lines. It's really up to you. Another thing I tried out was, I painted smaller dots on top of the dry dots using a smaller brush and another color. I'm not sure if I made the painting worse or better or just different, but this is also an option and the result looks interesting as well. So I hope you enjoyed this idea. Let me know what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful, I would really appreciate it. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for weekly DIY and art videos. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye!